Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So welcome to my new program. My name is Dr. Lee. And I come from the northern part of Malaysia. I come from Bukit Matajam. And now I'm staying in the southern part of Malaysia, which is of course West Malaysia, Peninsula Malaysia. Now I'm staying in uh, Johor and uh, in a town called Klon. Okay, so now I'm staying here. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'm now uploading videos of my second book. A whole book of grammar, level two. So actually, uh, during the pandemic, I uploaded my completed book, level one. Every question and every chapter of this book, all together 38 chapters. I uploaded every single question and every single lesson. And I discussed the answers and I explained in my videos and you can see them in my YouTube channel. Okay, and at that time, I uploaded in three languages in English, Bahasa Melayu, and the Chinese language. After the, the, after the completion of uh, my uploading, all the chapters 38 all together, I started to teach other uh, parts of the English language in my YouTube channel. And I use Bahasa Melayu only. So, Throughout the time that I was using Bahasa Melayu to teach uh, while waiting for my second book to be ready, I had a lot of requests um, to do all my teaching in English as well. That means besides Bahasa Melayu, do English. Teach the same thing in English. And I said, Okay, it's not a problem. So, um, somehow, when I finally decided to do my uploading in English, Bahasa Melayu, and the Chinese language, I was actually at lesson 11. So, when I finally decided that it is okay uh, to do my videos in three languages because besides English, those who were you know following me in my YouTube channel, the Chinese version, they asked me so many times, could I do it in the Chinese language? So when I finally decided uh, to do three languages, I was already I was already at lesson eleven of this book. So for now, I have stopped Bahasa Melayu for a while. I have stopped and I will, uh, it's a temporary measure. I will stop until I have completed lesson 11 in English, lesson 11 in the Chinese language. So starting lesson 12, I will be uploading three videos at the same time or three videos um, maybe, you know, are together, okay? In English, in Bahasa Melayu, in the Chinese language. So, you can have a choice. The lessons are the same, but the language or the languages are different. So, you can choose whatever you want, you like. Alright? So, uh, I will now go to lesson 3 of uh, this book. So, if you have this book, Please turn to page 8, page 8, alright? Uh, this, this is where you will see collective nouns. Collective nouns means group. So a group of, for example, um, a group of, uh, let's say, people, let's say, laborers, how do you say? Everything, all those that, all the words that are underlined here are called collective nouns. Okay, they represent group. A flag of swallows. Swallows are birds. So when you have a group of swallows together, 
we call we call this group a flight of sorrows. A crew of sailors. So a group of sailors. Sailors are people who work in ships. So we call them, we call this group a crew of sailors. A tribe of natives. Natives are original people. They are people who live in the jungles, you know. Like Africa has many tribes. I'm sure Malaysia has many tribes as well. So one tribe is called a tribe of natives. Monkeys, a troop of monkeys. When you have a group of monkeys together, we call this group a troop of monkeys. A chest of drawers. Chest is like a big cupboard and you have many, many drawers. That's why we call it a chest of drawers. A gang of laborers. Laborers are workers. People who work very hard, you know, most of the time they are under the sun, you know, they will work hard, you know, physical, uh, people who use a lot of physical strength, we call them a gang of laborers. A stack of hay. So what is hay? Hay is grass that is dry, dry grass. So you can see that countries with uh, four seasons, during the summer, the farmers are very busy. Because they are cutting grass, cut, 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 and then they stack the hay, stack, stack, stack. They dry the, the you know, they dry the hay or uh, the grass under the sun. So when the hay, the grass becomes dry, we call it hay. We don't call it grass. And then they stack the hay, and it is very, very high. They stack as much as they can. So during winter, there are cows, there are goats, there are sheep have food to eat, dry grass, which we call hay. So, stack together. So that we call a stack of hay. A swarm of insects. So when a lot of insects are together as a group, we call it a swarm of insects. A bale of cotton. Cotton, you know, we pluck from trees. So after plucking, they put on the ground. Okay? They put, put very very long you know and then they stack 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 after that they roll 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 think of swiss roll in the cake house that is something like that is a bale of cotton looks like i would say it looks like swiss roll to me it's just rolling so i saw the images in google and you can go to google and have a look at the pictures bale can come in the form of a big rectangle Okay, so they stack, 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 stack until they got very, very big and wide, like a truck, like a rectangle. Okay, that is also a bale of cotton. I saw this in a, um, a Google, the images. You can also do the same thing. Just have a look, okay? A pose of policemen, pose. If women, is the same police women. So a pose means a group, okay? A pack of wolves. So when you have group, a group of wolves together, we call it a pack of wolves, not a group of wolves. A turf of grass. I have drawn for you here. So when we plant grass, we don't plant all. We don't fill up the whole space. We plant a little here, a little there, a little there. So we, we plant a turf, a turf, a turf. And then it starts growing, multiplying. In the end, you see a lawn or a field. So that is called a turf of grass. Exercise two, a troop of dancers. A troop of dancers is uh, actually a group of dancers. Okay, people who dance. A set of China. Now, do not think of China here as a country. If China is a country, we must use a big C, capital letters. But here it is a small letter, small c. So this China is not, is not the country China. This is ceramic. So a set of China is one set. You have a teapot, you have teacups, you know, like the old emperors, you know, the emperors of China. If you watch all these uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese movies, you can see that ah, the king or the emperor drinks uh, tea. You know, small beautiful tea 
pot with small, small, very beautiful uh, teacups. Or even a bowl with a spoon, one set is called a set. So that we call a set of China. Okay, so China, you must remember, big C is the country, small C is ceramic. A fleet of ships, so many ships together. We do not say a group of ships, we say a fleet of ships. A shoal of fish is a group of fish. So when they swim together in a big group, you do not say, ah, I see a group of fish. No, a shoal of fish. A bouquet of flowers. Bouquet, bouquet, that's all. Don't have all the funny pronunciation, it's called bouquet. So a bouquet of flowers is a, like sometimes, um, that means a... Um, a bouquet of flowers will go something like this, you know, as when you have several of it. All tied together maybe, and all these will be the flowers. Or maybe you tie with a ribbon. Okay, so this is called a... Okay, a bouquet of flowers. A bouquet of flowers, a staff of teachers, a group of teachers. That is why the place where a teacher works is called a staff room. So a staff of teachers means a group of teachers. Okay, a litter of puppies or kittens. Okay, a group. You call it a litter. You don't say a group of puppies or kittens. A class of pupils. A class of students, one class, okay? A team of oxen. Oxen is what we call the male cow. So oxen, we use team, a group, just like a team of football players, basketball players, a team, it means a group. A suit of clothes, one set, a suit. A crowd of spectators, a group of people. Spectators are people who watch maybe a football match, or in a stadium, you know, a big open space and you are watching a game going on. Whether it is a, 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 comp a, a match or not is, is okay. You are just watching, you know, a big crowd of people. So we don't say a group, we say a crowd of spectators. Spectators are people who are watching a game or a match. Alright? So well, I have finished collective nouns. In this book, we have... Uh, 23 questions all right so if you feel that this class has been interesting you have learned uh, that would be very good very good and uh, maybe you would like to ask me how do i know that i should say a swarm of insects or a crew of sailors well you do not know why because just like I say, how do I know what to call this? Then I tell you it's a book. Okay? And uh, you may ask again, how do I know how to call this? I say, well, it's a ring. All these flight crew, flight crew, chest, all these collective nouns are fixed in the English language. So you need to remember. You have to remember. That when you are talking about, say, spectators and you're talking about one group, you say a crowd of spectators. You need to remember the name given to a group of oxen, monkeys, swallows or anything. People, animals and things. Okay? Because in the English language, there are so many words to learn. So they have special words for special uh, things, people, animals. Uh, whether it is one or many or as a group, okay? So, um, remember to give me a like, share and subscribe, okay? And a little uh, announcement here. If you want or interested, if you are interested to buy any of these books, book one, book two or both, uh, you, you just have to uh, WhatsApp to me, this number. And if you are interested to know, to learn the difference between speaking and writing, the way we speak is different from the way we write.
if you like to know the difference, go to my TikTok. These are my two accounts. You can learn from there. And if you want to join my new English courses that are, I will open, you need to WhatsApp to me to register. Okay, so that's all for now. Till we meet again in lesson 4. Alright, goodbye.